Hi all, welcome back to new video. Let's discuss about what does buy to resupply and how to manage buy to resupply in Odoo. Just consider an example. When a customer places an order, uh, need to deliver the product from the first warehouse, but the first warehouse do not contain the product and the supplier has multiple warehouses. And if the product is not available in the first warehouse, the supplier will check if the product is available in the second warehouse. And if it's available in second warehouse, the supplier will pull from second warehouse to the first warehouse and will uh, continue the delivery. And if it's not available in warehouse 2, we have to pull it from warehouse 3. And in some cases, the product may not be available in warehouse 3 also. In such cases, the supplier first need to resupply the stock in warehouse 3, which means that the supplier has to buy or purchase the product and need to uh, fulfill the need in warehouse 3 and once the uh, product is stopped in warehouse 3 the product will be moved to the warehouse 2 location and from there from the second location the product will be moving to the first location that is warehouse 1 and from warehouse 1 the product will be delivered to the customer so this is how buy, buy to resupply is done in Odoo so let's check how to do that in order to manage buy to resupply in Odoo just get into the inventory module and we need to create warehouses okay so in order to create warehouses just go to configuration and you can see under configuration menu warehouses so we need to create three warehouses because if the product or the stock is not available in the first warehouse then we need to get the product from the second warehouse and if it's not available in the second warehouse we need to pull the stock from warehouse 3 and if it's not available in warehouse 3 we need to trigger a purchase order so for that we have to create three uh yeah warehouses and uh, once you try to create uh, warehouses you can see that creating uh, warehouses will automatically activate the storage location from the settings okay so click on ok and let me create warehouse 1 and it is mandatory to give the shop name for the warehouse for the identification now let me save this now let's create another warehouse uh, that is yeah name the warehouse 2 and give the shop name also and we also need to create another warehouse that is warehouse 3 and give the shop name so once you go back to the list view of warehouse you can see that we have created three warehouses so once you create the warehouses Odo will automatically set the routes for these warehouses so just get into the warehouse one and we have to resupply it from warehouse two which means that when a customer places an order uh, and the delivery will be made from warehouse 1 and if it's not available in warehouse 1 we need to pull the stock from warehouse 2 to warehouse 1 so we have to uh, buy or resupply the product from warehouse 2 to warehouse 1 so Odo will automatically configure the routes for this okay so let's get into the routes and here we can see that uh, yeah we have to resupply the products from warehouse 2 okay so just take that and uh, here we can see the company name and if you want to apply or uh, apply these routes in product categories products warehouses sale orders i mean sale order lines just enable all this field and here we have two rules which is automatically created by odo so here we can see that once you open this uh, rule here you can see that the name of the rule and the action we gonna perform here is pull as we know that if the product is not available in warehouse 1 we need to pull uh, the stock from w2 warehouse to warehouse 1 so delivery operations will be made from w2 okay and uh, the source location that is the product that we are getting or taking is from w2 stocks and moving to the w1 stock and if it's not available in w2 stock 
we have to trigger another rule. So for that, we uh, must use this apply method as take from stock if unavailable, trigger another rule. Okay, now let me save this and just take the next, ro next rule and here we can see that uh, the name of the rule and we are gonna perform a pull action that is whenever the products are needed in the W1 stock receipts will be created in the physical uh, locations uh, to fulfill the needs okay so uh, when the need is created in the physical location and a rule will be triggered to fulfill that so whenever it's not available that is the product is not available in W2 we have to trigger another rule for this so we have to change the supply method as take from stock if unavailable trigger another rule now save this now yeah now back to the warehouses now you have to choose the warehouse 2 and if the product is not available in warehouse 2 we have to resupply it from warehouse 3 okay now let me save the changes and go to the routes and uh, need to choose a route that is uh, resupply the product from w3 if it's not available in w2 okay now here we have uh, two rules and if you want to apply this routes to a particular category or warehouses, products or sale order like just enable these fields and uh, just use the rules and here also whenever the products are needed in the physical location delivery orders will be created from the W3 stocks to fulfill their needs okay so uh, if it's not available in W3 stock we have to trigger another rule now we also need to change uh, the supply method in the uh, second rule that is uh, whenever the products are needed in w 2 stock receipts will be created from the physical location uh, uh, to fulfill the needs and if the products are not available in the physical location then a rule will be triggered to bring that product into this location okay now save the settings and back to w3 warehouse and here if the product is not available in w3 then what we have to do is that we have to bring the product to w3 stock by a purchase by triggering a purchase so for that just get into the internal link of roads and under roads just maintain uh, the buy for only w3 stock okay because we are bringing the product into w3 stock uh using a purchase order okay now let me save this now we have to create a new product for that just uh click on product and let me create a new product let it be the product be mouse and here we have to ensure the product type is storable to uh, see the inventory movement and here we can also set the sales price let the price be $20 and let the cost of the product be $10 and we have to set the purchase uh, under purchase tab we have to set the vendor let the vendor be azure interior and setting the uh, price as $8 and here under inventory tab we have to enable the routes that is if the product is not available in warehouse 1 we have to resupply it from warehouse 2 and if it's not available in warehouse 2 we have to resupply it from warehouse 3 and if it's not available in warehouse we need to buy the product and here we have to also enable one more route that is MTO so currently MTO is not available under routes so let me save this and make this product as favorite now uh, let's go to configuration settings in order to uh, make or uh, visible the MTO, you have to enable multi-step routes from the configuration settings. So once you save uh, the settings, you can see routes will be available under configuration menu. And here you can see already created routes. And uh, but still MTO is not visible in this window. So we have to unarchive that. For uh, that, just get into filters and click on archived and here you can see MTO that is replenish on orders okay so we need to unarchive this for that go to action and click on unarchive now 
just get into the product and under roots you can see yeah replenish or on order is visible okay now let me save the changes now what we have to do is that just go to the sales module and yeah choose a customer let the customer be required it and we have to choose a product that we have created that is mouse and under other info we have to change the warehouse uh, that is we are supplying the product or we are making the delivery of the product from warehouse one now let me save the changes so once you save the changes and uh, just click on confirm button so you can see that two smart uh, smart tabs will be triggered here one is to uh, purchase the product and the other one is to make the delivery so when you try to deliver the product here you can see that every trans transfers will be in waiting state because currently uh, we do not have any product in the warehouse so first we need to uh, replenish the product into the warehouse so in order to replenish uh, the order we have to purchase the product first okay so now let me confirm the order now let me confirm the order uh, to replenish the product so click on receive button and click on validate button to uh, yeah click on validate button to uh, complete the purchase order so now the on hand quantity of the product will be updated into one okay see you can see that the on hand quantity of the product is updated into one and you can see that uh, under delivery uh, smart tab the product is updated or uh, updated in warehouse 3 and we can move now the product into warehouse 2 okay so in order to make the delivery we have to click on validate button and just click on apply to set the quantities and just confirm so that now the product is moved from warehouse 3 to warehouse 2 okay so here you can see that now the uh, product is moved from warehouse 3 to warehouse 2 now we have to move this product from warehouse 2 to warehouse 1 right so just validate this yeah now back to the other operation now click on validate button to move from warehouse 2 to warehouse uh, 1 and now from where uh, now the product uh, need to be moved from warehouse 1 to the customer so click on validate button and finally we need to deliver the product from the warehouse 1 to the customer right so we have moved the product or we have made the stock in uh, warehouse 1 now uh, finally we gonna deliver the product to the customer so just set the quantities and click on validate button now we have completed the delivery okay so uh, and we can also create invoice for this so click on uh, create invoice and create invoice just confirm the invoice and click on register payment okay so after reconciliation the payment will be moved moving into the bank okay now uh, this is one case so just consider if uh, any one of the warehouse contain the product so how uh, can the delivery happens okay now let's go to the product and take the same product and update the quantity of the product okay so let me update the quantity uh, let me choose the warehouse so let the warehouse be w2 stock so uh, let me update the quantity into three now we can apply this and let me set the quantity so that the on hand quantity will be updated to three now the on hand quantity is three now let's try to deliver the product if the product is available in any one of the warehouse so for that just uh go to yeah uh just use a customer and make the customer be wood corner and we have to choose a product the product being mouse 
and under other info you have to change the warehouse uh, that is we gonna we are making the delivery from warehouse one so choose the where that warehouse okay now let me save and let me confirm this so here you can see that free delivery has created because we have uh, the product in the stock of warehouse two so the product will be moving from warehouse two to warehouse one so in order to move the product uh, or transfer the product uh, we have to click the validate button so just uh, click on validate button so that now the product is in w1 stock and finally we need to deliver the product from w1 stock to the customer so just click on validate button so that the product will be uh, taken from the w1 stock to the customer so this is how Odoo manage uh, by to resupply method. So thank you for watching the video. Hope this concept is clear for you. We'll see you in next video.